conditions conditions for sustained interference conditions for sustained interference of light conditions for sustained interference of light number one condition will be two sources of light two sources of light that is two sources s1 and s2 of light must be coherent two sources of light must be coherent so in this case if s1 and s2 are sources of light then they should be coherent number two condition number two condition for sustained interference of light is the amplitudes of two interfering light waves the amplitudes of two interfering light waves from the two coherent sources s1 and s2 amplitudes of light waves from the two coherent sources of light should be preferably should be preferably equal the amplitudes of light waves from the two coherent sources of light should be preferably equal should be preferably equal number 3 condition number 3 and here uh, in what way we can explain this condition that is if uh, first equation of first light wave is y1 equal a sin omega t and the equation of second interfering light wave is b sin omega t plus phi that is y2 in that case intensity of uh, uh, bright fringe is i max which is k a plus b whole square and intensity of dark fringe is i min which is k a minus b whole square if a is equal to b i max is equal to 4k a square and i min is equal to 0 that means intensity of bright fringe and dark fringe will be 4k a square and 0 for sustained interference if a is equal to b in that case uh, intensity of resultant light wave in dark fringe i mean will be 0 that means the amplitudes of two light waves from the two current sources of light should be preferably equal number three condition the two coherent sources number three condition the two coherent sources of light should be should preferably should preferably monochromatic the two coherent sources should uh, preferably be monochromatic be monochromatic here s1 is a coherent source of light that is uh, s1 the so, uh, source s1 produces red light of uh, having equation y1 and the second source or second slit s2 produces uh, red light and the equation of that red light is y2 that means uh, the two coherent sources s1 and s2 should produce uh, light waves of same wavelength that means if one light wave has uh, is red light then another interfering light wave will be red light if red light is replaced by blue uh, blue light then another uh, 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 interfering light wave will be blue that means uh, two coherent sources should be preferably monochromatic number four condition the coherent the coherent sources must be number four condition the coherent sources must be very close to each other the coherent sources must be very close to each other that means uh, the slit separation should be very uh, small or close. D is the slit separation and the value of D that means distance between two coherent sources S1 and S2 must be very small. Last condition or fifth condition is the two coherent sources or two sources should be two sources should be point source two sources should be point sources or very narrow sources the two sources should be point sources or very narrow sources